Welcome back. Here's some Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. We've talked about a number of emerald time periods in our history here on the couch. Mm. Thought we'd go back to the first one, Emerald Dawn. This is the post-crisis origin I thought for we were Hal Jordan about the Emerald City. No, that's from uh, Wizard of Oz. Yeah, yeah I guess. we're not doing that. No, no. Oh. Although, I, you know, interesting thing about the Wizard of Oz comic book adaptation, that was the first Marvel DC crossover. Marvel and DC co-published the comic book adaptation of Wizard of Oz. Wait, why? they co-published it, but this wasn't like a, the superheroes go to Oz kind no, of thing? No, no, it was just DC and Marvel present the Wizard of Oz. What? That well, is they, so like, weird. They jointly bought the rights? I to... guess. How, how That's as far work? as my understanding of that <sighs> That'd be amazing if weird. like they just sold yeah, they... the rights to both companies. Right, and they're like, yeah. we don't know the difference. We can't choose. What do We're going to cut the rights <laughs> down the middle and give half to each of you. Okay. What? Wait, what? You're... Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fine. That's fine. Right? Yeah, I'm fine too. I'll own half and you can own half. Okay, yeah. yeah. And we'll never be able to make a book about it without the other. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> and they made one book. Actually, Marvel did wind up doing another comic book adaptation of Wizard of Oz, but it was of the book. Oh. So. Well, that's kind of cool. And I, I don't know. I might actually read that. It's neat. Unlike the actual Wizard of Oz, which I would never read. <laughs> Green Lantern Emerald Dawn is written by Keith Giffen and Gerard Jones and Jim Owsley, with art by M.D. Bright and Romeo Tangle. Like I said, this is the origin. Mm -hmm. This is the post-crisis, oh crap, we gotta set up who Hal Jordan Green Lantern is. Let's do it. I thought people knew. Not now! Well, they do, but like, well, you know. It's, now, it's all new and we gotta all different. update it, gotta make it new, yeah. gotta make it fresh, come on. It's like 1988 or whatever. <laughs> so, the story opens, and it's like a poetical kind of like, the the... Night unfurls to the dawn, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. But uh, never mind that. Let's uh, meet up with young Hal Jordan, who's watching his father do a test flight. I'm sure it's all going to go pretty well. Uh, no, in fact, his dad dies. The plane explodes. Hal watches it happen. And uh, it, it traumatizes him for the rest of his life. Hal watches his dad explode. And then we cut to a couple years later. And Hal uh, is... <sighs> How is, is he, he working at Ferris on the inside to bring it down? No. <laughs> I'm gonna avenge you, father! <laughs> no, I mean, he always wants to be a test pilot. He wants to work in his father's footsteps. He wants to fly. Mm -hmm. uh, he does work for Ferris Air, but he keeps getting fired because he's an asshole and a moron. And Carol Ferris and he dated, but are no longer dating. Ah. And because he's an asshole and a moron. Yeah, so yeah. She, she keeps like she keeps falling into that trap that that people do when they're dating asshole morons where they're like, I can make him better. Yeah. And then they never do. Well, I see a side of them that no one else does. Yes. And it turns out, no, you were making one up your entire time. <laughs> but in this case, she was actually making she was she was right. There is another side to him. But sure. Uh, she's pretty much done with his antics. It's a good lesson. Point. Yeah. If you just keep trying, you can change uh, someone. Uh, one in a million. All right, and sometimes they also become the green fucking lantern, right. and it really makes it better for them. Yeah. So, and that's really Carol incidental in his mm -hmm. change and transformation. Yeah, it's getting that ring. That's probably a little more important. It's to the. It, it's actually Hal is a huge screw up in this book, and it's kind of neat to watch like how he becomes Green Lantern at this point. Okay. Uh, and they really like don't pull any punches. It's Keith Given. He's not like gonna do that. You know, he's really like, screw this guy. Let's drag him to the mud. Yeah. Uh, this guy, well, so. I mean, give him a, a dark background or, mm -hmm. or a rough past mm -hmm. and it makes his triumph all the better. That's true, that's yeah. true. Uh, so Hal is at the bar. He's getting completely shit faced with his brother and his best friend and one of their girlfriends. And uh, Carol gives him a hard time at the bar and then leaves. Hal like thinks about the things she said, and he's just kind of like clearly in his own head. Uh, mm -hmm. He gets in the jeep, and they're gonna drive. Hal is completely intoxicated. Uh, I've flown way more tanks than this. I can handle a boom. car. That's it. I mean, he's yep. literally like you know, I could fly. Like I, I, I can fly a plane. I can right. drive this piece of. I can fly car. a plane drunk. I can drive this jeep drunk. Right. So I'm sorry, you fly drunk? Uh, uh, no. 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 I'm just saying I'm driving this car drunk, yeah. officer. So he's going around these hairpin turns, and uh, one of the passengers screams out to watch out for this big yellow sign, this big stupid sign that just advertises a motor lodge. Mm. It's well off the road. So why But for some reason, they're like screaming, Hal, the sign, watch out! Hal sees the sign, it distracts him, he rolls the Jeep. Oof. 
and crash then they into are an, pretty roll easy. Yeah, yeah crash into another true. car, and then he wakes up in the hospital. Are they all dead? And his friends are dead. No. Oh. No. Uh, he does wake up. The nurse tends to him, and he's like, oh, nurse, can you do something to help keep the room from spinning? And she's like, screw you. <laughs> My son was killed by a drunk driver. I have zero sympathy for you. She closes the door, and wow, Carol's that's there. awesome. I know. And Carol's there. She's like, you piece of shit. Just huh. leaves. And he's like, it wasn't me. It wasn't my fault. It was the sign. The sign was in the way. <laughs> the stationary <laughs> sign that's always there. It's yeah. that sign. It was the sign. It was a big sign. It's a big sign right in the road. Or off the side of the road. But yeah. Might as well be in the road. It's so big. That's so it. I'm throwing the Happy Times Lodge. <laughs> he might as well. So then he goes to work the next morning. And uh, he's testing out this like kind of like flight simulator pod. Uh -huh. It's not an actual like it's not supposed to go anywhere. Sure. It's just a stationary. It's not supposed to go anywhere. So Carol is talking to her father, who runs Ferris Air. Sure. Carl Ferris, and she's like, he's like, get this guy out of here. Get your boyfriend out of here. He's a drunk driver. He's a ten-time loser. <laughs> Wait. Why is he telling her that? He's the boss. Can't he just fire him? <laughs> yeah, he's so busy being a big shot. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway. Look, I, I didn't become the CEO of this company to deal with people. I, yeah. I don't I, like competition. I think, I think it's more like he's going to fire her and she's arguing with him about it. He's like, what are you doing? Why are you opposing this? Right. Uh, meanwhile, by the way, his best friend, yeah, he's, he's paralyzed. Oh. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> well, he's in traction. I don't know if it means he's, uh, like, he's we, very seriously He's injured. very seriously injured in which he will need the aid of a wheelchair right. for at least some of his life. But I, then I, his I'd be friend, very careful to say that uh, gets the power and becomes parallax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he does this deep-seated resentment. <laughs> because he's paralyzed. Yeah, and he was afraid of the yellow sign. It's all connected. <laughs> anyway, Do you think the, the yellow the... sign is like a fucking deliberate thing? <laughs> yeah, it is. So how's in this flight simulator? It's going, it's doing its thing, and he's like experiencing G's. Then the flight simulator disconnects from its connector and just flies through the wall of of the building and just goes airborne. Oh, what? And everyone's like, "Well, your boyfriend certainly topped it's hit, topped himself, Carol." She's like, "It's not it's, supposed it's to go." Like, <laughs> he couldn't have done that. They That's do, not screwing up. That's they do, like they do blame him, but like. It's amazing. It has no wings or propulsion system. Yeah. That's How's clearly this an act of God. somehow he managed to get it out of the building. Uh -huh. That's how much of a screw up he is. It yep. doesn't even have wings. He's magic. And it, like, bad luck just, ha just follows him. We can't hire this guy. So he's flying <laughs> to the air. And he lands in front of a disabled spacecraft. So he gets out of the flight simulator thing. And he sees the spaceship and he's like, screw this. And he turns around and runs away. And as he's <laughs> running, a big green cloudy construct of Abin Sur appears and he's like, stop! I am the Wizard of Oz! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Mufasa. Or, or any of the other cloudy super... He sees this construct and he's like, this can't be real. Then it turns into a chair and it just flies him into the ship. It's like, uh -huh. okay, clearly talking to you didn't work, <laughs> so why don't you just come in here and I'll see you face yep. to face. So then uh, he is faced with Abin Sur. Yeah. Who of course, is the greatest Green Lantern of all time. Who's, you know, according to this, according to this, and everyone and every talks. other book. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and he's he's using the ring to communicate in Hal's mind, which is articulated through these like caption special bubbles. Yep. yep. <clears throat> right. And he says, "You need the ring and the battery. That's all you need. You're one of us now." And he's like, "Dude." What's going on? I got like a million questions. Who are you is like around like the 10 mark. So he says like, I'm dying. You've been chosen. Help me. <laughs> I'm dying. You have been chosen. How did I get chosen? Well, I send a little probe and I realized that uh, just like in Terminator 2, where mm -hmm. I scoped out people based on their size for the yeah. clothing, uh, you're roughly my size. Yeah, you're roughly my ring size. No. He, my ring size, the suit size. All no, the ring determined him. Like the idea is that like the ring chose him. So the ring pulled the ship simulator. Yep, through the wall, over to here, brought him to Abin Sur. So Abin Sur's just like, like, okay, you're the one who showed up. Boom. You must be Well, you're the, the one person. the ring brought. Yeah. You know, it's not even like, okay. I, I, I like that in terms of it being like destiny or at the yeah. very least like intentional. Yes. As opposed to like some schlub finds this dead alien, he takes the <laughs> ring and he just bails. <laughs> like, yeah. no. no. Uh, so and Hal, it's also not Abin Sur being like, oh, well, I know. Yeah, Ooh. it's not Al, yeah, Abin Sur does not know. I'm intimately familiar with all Earthlings and this one is the most deserving. Right, you may want to try Kansas first. <laughs> so, 
Ah, uh, he is not an Earthling. That's true. You're not from uh. Earth. That's not your sector. <laughs> your sector's sector dead. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not allowed to choose you. You let your sector get blown up. Yeah. I was a baby. So there's plenty of blame in the DC universe to go around. So, and yet Hal Jordan has none. That's true. I don't blame myself for my friend's paralyzation. Nope. I don't blame myself for that. Yeah, he blames the sign. Yeah. Yeah. He blames blames that sign. That, that old, sign jumped out of nowhere. Yeah, that, that crotchety old Ferris guy. He sucks too. Yeah. Is the ring being like, I like this guy. This guy has a lot of willpower to lie to himself <laughs> like that. <laughs> He's truly worthy. <laughs> the greatest among us. So he presents the battery. He's like, don't let the battery, like, get in the wrong hands. And then Hal's mm. like, screw this. And he just leaves. <laughs> okay. The ring... The ring flies off of Abinsir's hand, his body starts to decompose, and then flies onto Hal's hand, and he gets the costume. Uh, okay. Like, what? Yeah. And he, okay. So, and it's like the movie, where it just goes on him. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, I have a costume. Right. All right. So he's like, okay. He grabs the power battery, and he's like, I want to leave. <laughs> so he blasts <laughs> out of the spaceship. Yikes. And he's like, okay, I want to get down. <laughs> he falls to Earth, doesn't die, and he's like, that's awesome. He does leave the battery in the derelict craft, though. What a schmuck. Yeah. God. So he, he flies. Said what, he said, like, two things to you. One of them was, like, don't let the battery go anywhere <laughs> yeah. other than where you are. So he's flying around. He's like, this is awesome. Yeah. So he lands. He calls Carol on a payphone. <laughs> and she's like, where are you? Where's my simulator? Does he call her collect? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, ring, I need you to make some quarters. Carol! Carol, I need you to accept the call. Yeah, yeah. Carol, pick it up for me. <laughs> so, it's an old joke, but uh, so he, hey, I'm done with school. Pick me up, quick. So she says, like, you must have stolen the thing. He's like, what are you talking about? How would I have done that? What well, would I would have had to like made a deal with like a flatbed company and a, and, a, and a demolition team? There's a hole in the wall, and she's like, well, I don't know how it happened, but it must have been you and you're a dick. No, and it was he, a giant coyote with a slingshot. Yeah, Carol, get over here. And he's like, and he goes, listen, like, what's more important is how how are my brother and best friend doing? She's like, what? You're like, your brother's fine, but like, Andy, your best friend is in traction, man. And he's like, damn it! My friend is paralyzed, maybe forever, and it's all because of that damn sign! Well, now I got the power to take out that stupid sign! So he flies at top speed at the sign, boom! Crashes through it and is unconscious. <laughs> That's funny! That's awesome. It's yeah. yellow! That's how yellow. he discovers about the yellow! He doesn't discover anything, he's just, <laughs> he's just an idiot. He just thinks like, oh, and I can't And he hits it with his sign. head. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, he should, he should be dead. Uh, totally, but the ring protected him. Like, I don't know how. Because, yeah, it's powerless against yellow, right? So, yeah, like, yeah. Maybe the sign was the really ring. The ring does that a couple times. Maybe it was like, if there's framing, yeah. but it's also like canvas, and he just busts through the canvas part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the wood was protecting him. Or he was protected against the wood part of the right. sign. Right. <laughs> Or anyway, the, the ring's power like waned like right before he hit it, so he slowed down a lot right before. I mean, that's what it has to have been, because otherwise yeah. he'd be dead, and the book would be over. <laughs> so, Hal uh, is then in a spaceship flying around the galaxy, having an amazing time. Then he looks at his gauges, and everything's going wrong, and he has to bail out. And he hears his father's voice, and then the ring finds him, grabs onto him, and then he and his spaceship fly into a giant Green Lantern power battery, and then explode. And he's still face first in the desert. And he's like, Nuh. He wakes up and he's like, is that some weird sex analogy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he flags down a motorist. He forces them to stop by like creating a, like a pillow with his ring. He's like, <laughs> let me in. He goes home. He goes to the hospital. He visits Andy. And he's like, hey, man, uh, let's see if this works. And he like flashes the ring at him to like fix his legs. Oh. Nope. It's not. That's not how that works. That's not what that does. No. And he's like, hey, man, like, and Andy's cool. He's like, what are you doing, man? More or less. <laughs> Andy's like, hey, did you take out that sign for me? <laughs> Give him one for Andy. <laughs> uh, no, Andy's like, <laughs> Andy's like, you were driving a car under the influence of alcohol. The police are looking for you. And you need going to, to jail. You're going to jail, my friend. And you need to turn yourself in before, like, it becomes, like, a manhunt. Before you're a fugitive. And he's like, oh. I don't need to do that. I'm Green Lantern now. So he just flies out the window and he's like, ooh, they're going to recognize me. I'll make a mask. Hmm. So he makes the Green Lantern mask. Yeah, all right. And he's kind of like floating around in the air like, okay, mm, well, I can't hide I up here forever. Hmm. Good point. Yeah. Uh, he, while he's up in the air, another like 
test pilot for Ferris Air like flies by him, sees him, and that causes him like screw up and go into a tailspin. Hal makes a giant hand, <laughs> picks up the plane, lets it land. So he's learning real quick about what the ring can do. I mean, the oh, ring, he's the greatest the, Greenlander ever. That's true, and the ring listens to his thoughts, so it's like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to fix that plane? Here's a hand. Mm-hmm. So he lands. Oh, you want to fix your friend? No. Right. No, I can't do that. Maybe if I make, like, a surgeon's hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Carol arrives at the scene. He's like, oh, great. Carol's here. She's going to give me a freaking hard time about this. And she's like, you're amazing. He's like, oh, the mask. She doesn't recognize me. Sweet. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, well, I certainly God. won't speak and <laughs> let her know my voice. Meanwhile, the, uh, the, the test pilot's like, hey, green guy, you're an asshole. <laughs> What? You made me distracted. And oh, yeah. Caused me to go to Tailspin. And he's like, ah, and he leaves. Have you tried focusing? <laughs> Wait. Yeah. That's just, are you supposed to have, like, incredible resolve, you jackass? Does Superman exist in this world? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So a man flying outside your window is, granted, rare, yeah. but not unheard. But you got to be able to be prepared for when it happens. Yeah, man, you're a test pilot. <laughs> it's one guy at this point. Anyway, so we cut to, like, the Nerves moon. Nerves of steel is what I'm saying. I yeah. agree. We cut to the moon and we meet this big golden robot looking dude. What? His name's Legion. And he's the big villain of this book. Does he say we are Legion? No. Okay. Damn. He looks kind of like a, like a snake man. Yeah, something. he's got a fun giant like frog mouth. Yeah. Oh, I really like his mouth. design. See, I imagine that is like the halo mask and that these are little, like little kitty ears. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see that I see too. It now. <laughs> see, yeah. Because yeah. I've seen it as eyes, eyes and, a and a mouth. mouth. Well, now Legion's adorable. Because <laughs> he uses them as eyes when he has like a big microscope coming yeah. over. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, he is adorable. He's like he's a Cobra Commander at a Kawaii festival. <laughs> so. Yes. Ah, oh, everyone, let's dance. Is that is that <laughs> Kawaii Commander? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So okay. anyway, he goes yeah. to Earth. He finds Abin Sir's ship. He's been tracking the Green Lantern energy, energy signature. Okay. So he gets to the to the ship, and he's like, it's just sitting here. Is this a trap for me, Abin? So he enters the ship, and he finds the dead husk of Abin Sir. And he's like, well, well, well. They said you couldn't die, but look at you now, you purple son of a bitch. <laughs> now, where's the ring? Where's the new Green Lantern? He smashes the body around. He's like, ah, screw you. I picked, I picked up the trail. I now know where to go. Mm. And you're like, oh, crap. So then Hal just goes to jail. As oh, so the Green he turns Lantern himself in. turns himself in, takes off the ring. He he gives up everything, including oh. the ring. I don't think he voluntarily does it. They're like, "All right, give me your belt and your ring too." He's like, "Okay, oh, right. the thing I need to get out of here." All right. Did not think this through. Oh, I should have put this in my flesh pocket. <laughs> yeah, make sure nobody picks your pocket. <laughs> so he goes to jail, and he's just sitting in the. He's like sitting in prison with. Oh this, my god, this is the biggest prison cell ever. It's pretty big. It's pretty cavernous. I don't know why. But, yeah, uh, to hold multiple prisoners. Yeah. Right. Because he's just in the local jail. He's not exactly been processed. No. Well, he it. he was he does have like a mug shot and everything. Oh yeah. Yeah. They they take that, but then they put you in a holding cell. Right. Until like, and that's where he is. He's waiting stuff. with this other guy. Yeah. And the guy's like, you know, what are you in for? You driving drunk? He's like, yeah. He's like, what are you like? He says he's a pilot. It doesn't matter who this guy is. It's yes. It's irrelevant. Okay. Point is, uh, Legion just blasts through the wall, and he's like, <laughs> so you're the Green Lantern, huh? And he starts like, smashing things. He's killing people left and right. Jeez. And Hal's like, oh crap. <laughs> I, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, man. I was not ready for this. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Legion's just smashing things up, killing everybody. And the cops are like, hey, someone's breaking out that drunk driver. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, no. But like, he does, he, the devastation allows Hal to make it back to the Evans locker, grabs his ring, and he's like, okay, buddy. Now you see me, now you don't. This is the last thing you're ever going to see. Flash. And his ring just turns off. And Legion goes, are you done? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, if you'll give me just one more moment, I'm going to shit myself. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm now done. Now I'm done. Yeah. So <laughs> Legion grabs Hal and he's shaking him down, begging him to know where are the Owens, where is where are the Guardians? Ah. So Hal's being choked out by Legion and he's like, What the hell happened? Where'd my power go? Yeah. And like and by the way, the ring depowers. Like it, it turns off. Okay. Mm -hmm. And as he's being choked out. The power of the Green Lantern leaves him, so he just turns back into Hal Jordan. Right. right. His right. suit goes away. Yeah. Yeah. And Legion is like, where'd you go? Where'd Green Lantern go? <laughs> yeah. It's like Superman putting on glasses. Where'd Superman whoa, go? Whoa. Clark, when did you get here? <laughs> oh my god, I'm choking on a random citizen. I am so sorry, sir. That's more or less what happens. And then he throws him and he's like, well, uh, there, there is a broken energy signature. I'll just see where Green Lantern's been. Okay. Well, he is a, like a robot, right? So like... It's a, I mean, it's a dude. 
Oh, you were dude. just oh. Green Lantern. What do you mean, where has he gone? <laughs> I know. Well, it, so then Hal just like wanders away from the prison. <laughs> Well, I guess I don't have to be here anymore. Yeah, well, yeah, I served totally my time. <laughs> All right. If I was in jail <laughs> well, for minutes 20 away. minutes, yes. yeah. and then the jail gets broken into and I'm attacked, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave. You're going to leave? <laughs> you're leaving. Yes. You're well, not gonna then go you're a fugitive. Yeah, then you're not going to go to the lobby and just wait? No. No. So he wanders off. Some motorist picks him up and takes him to Ferris Air. Everybody stopped. There's like a police barricade because there's been a disaster up ahead. Uh, the Legion creature went to the hospital because he saw the energy signature no. and killed everyone in it, including oh. his best friend. Oh. So we never really no. find out if he's if gonna he get gonna be over it. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. He's dead. Wow. And he's like, but, well, no, no, he does definitely contribute to his death. I mean, it's oh, kind yeah. of his fault. He yeah. Been yeah. In the yeah, he wouldn't been in the hospital otherwise. Yeah. And he's like, where else have I been today as Green Lantern? Oh shit. So he goes to Ferris Air, it's been wrecked. Oh my God. And he's like, dude's looking for Green Lantern, huh? Well, he's going to get him. So he runs to the ship of Abin Sur's. He finds the power battery. I like that no one has found the ship yet. I know. Not well, it's, NASA, it's not the, the government. Desert. Nah, it's in the desert. It's really, it's real far. And like, if, if Abin Sur was the Green Lantern of Sector 2814, would stand to reason that any vessel that he would use would be cloaked from like our technology. Anyway, <laughs> Hal puts on the ring. He goes near the battery. He's like, I know the battery's supposed to charge the ring. I can put that together. Right, it's called a battery. I just don't know how to do it. And then like the battery just pulls the ring into it <laughs> and he gets charged Here, up. Here, you idiot. Ah! <laughs> yeah. The battery says like, so you can ask the ring whatever you want and it'll tell you. Explain to me what's going on with this yellow monster. And he's like, oh, hi there, it looks like you're a new Green Lantern. I'm gonna be your rig. <laughs> yeah, looks like you're trying to be Green Lantern. Want some help? Thanks, Clippy. <laughs> so the thing you're trying to track is called Legion. It's killed four Green Lanterns before. Oh. Uh, and including the former bearer of your ring. He's mm. like, so who is the former bearer? And then it creates this like holographic recreation of what happened. So we see a flashback of Abin Sir who oh, is being it does tracked. Kill him. Okay, I was yeah. like, it didn't kill him, he crash landed. Yeah, no. Uh, he was being tracked and chased by Legion. So Abin blasts Legion out the, out the airlock, more or less. Okay. And then, wrecked and devastated, he finds, he plots a course for Earth, and then he lands there. So that's why Legion doesn't know that he killed Abin Sur. He's yeah. looking for him. And, and that's like, why oh. Legion ended up on the moon. Uh, they're, they're, they're passing They're passing him. the moon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so then Legion blasts into the ship, mm -hmm. and he's like, found ya. So they fight and smash the ship, and then Hal basically finds kind of like a big energy room. Uh, the ring kind of leads in there, and it's like, mm. this, is the, this is the power room for the, for the ship. Right. And Hal's like, core or okay, well, let's blast it and blow this motherfucker up. So he hits it with his ring, and it causes this like nuclear blast. Yikes. Hmm. Well, thank God they're in the desert. Cool. Yeah. And the ring protects him. Yep. And he's like, awesome. Well. I vaporized him. I killed him. Sweet. Uh, show me more Green Lanterns. I want to know more about this. So it's like, okay. And it takes him to Oa. Yeah. Uh, Does he bring the battery this time? No. Uh, the, God damn it, he doesn't no. need to. Now he's going to Oa. They got, they got nothing but batteries. So the, the nuclear blast launched Legion where? Back to the moon. And uh, <laughs> Legion, I'm back on the moon. <laughs> so Legion follows Green Lantern's aura through space, and it'll lead him, you know, yeah, to where he's going. Uh, See, it's that damn green vapor trail. Yeah. Before they get to Oa, though, he lands on another planet where he meets up with Toma Ray, mm. and Toma Ray's like, "Hey, you're not Appen, sir. Hey, you're new. <laughs> yeah. Well, where's my friend Appen Sur? We're best buddies. Oh, we. <laughs> I even bought him a special dinner. Well." You're taking me out to dinner then, because <laughs> Adam's not coming. So he's like, let's go. Uh, Tom Ray, you better sit down for this. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, they, Tom Ray's there to deal with some problem, you know, with like giant grassy cilia that are like causing an issue. And Hal's like, oh, I got this. And he creates a lawnmower and mows it down. And Tom Ray's like, okay, neat. Those uh, are sentient creatures. You just murdered, you just murdered all of them. <laughs> yeah. So then he's like, okay, well, come on, we gotta go. Like, we, we got a signal on our rings. Don't you know that's what that's doing? Uh, we gotta go back, we gotta deal with Legion, because Legion's a big problem. Yeah. So they go to they go through a wormhole and end up on Oa, which is way less, like, green and interesting than it has it's been before. It's a lot more yellow than I would have thought. Yeah. Well, they gotta put safeguards in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. you, we got this big yellow tower, so you can't kill us. Right. So they're in the uh, so so they go to they go to Oa. They meet up with other characters like Salak, who we've met before in Green Lantern versus Aliens, which is the book we did for some yeah. reason before this. Uh, 
Yeah, and basically Salak. they're like, yeah, remember Salak? Yeah, man. Good old Salak. Good old forearmed knobs. knobs. His head. Yeah. He kind of looks like a xenomorph predator hybrid. Yeah, a little bit with herpes. He looks like a bowling pin. <laughs> or Kiati Mundi from Star Wars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or one of those squeezy guys with the ears pop out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah like his little like head things like pop out. They all out. have little balloons. Yeah. So... When he gets really angry, they pop out and steam comes out. <laughs> so they're wondering about Legion, and so they're like, well, we'll just check the Book of Oa, which is another thing we've cu- we brought up before, I think, in the ne- in the <laughs> Sinestro yeah. Corps. Yes, yeah. the giant book. The, the big it's book. It's like literally a physically huge book. Yes. So Lies on this amazingly men. advanced planet with all yeah. this amazing technology, yeah. we have a big book. And then we get to read the book because you turn the page, and then we're looking oh, at the book. We're reading oh, the book, It's too. an immersive experience. And the book basically is like, so... This is anyway. So Legion is from these this this race of bug creatures, which are called the Chick Chicks. <laughs> yeah. T C H K. Yep. They're called the Chick Chicky. Chick Chicky. But their planet's called Chick Chick. Okay. Uh, and they basically they they were a war. Mo- they were a technologically superior race of bug monsters, and then they got too greedy and they waged war, and then. They know, like the Guardians noticed them, and so the Guardians like walled off their planet so nobody could leave, and then they like caused more mayhem, and so they're stuck there. That's, wow, and that's kind of where Legion came from. Okay, good job, Guardians. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a problem. Bubble. Wall it off. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Hal's like, that's not what Legion looks like. That doesn't make any sense. Mm. And they're like, well, that's what the book says. So shut up. And book the book is, is never all. wrong, yeah. nor can it ever be changed. Book so is life. Book is like, all. So they're like, all right, well, you're going to have to get trained and become a Green Lantern, so like, let's get going. So let's get started. And Hal's like, whoa, 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 before you do, can you use your ring to make a call for me? <laughs> so meanwhile, uh, at Hal's best friend's funeral, right. everyone is like, I can't believe Hal's in here. What a dickhead. So then Hal creates a hard-like construct of himself visiting Jack, his brother, yeah. and he's like, Jack... I'm on another planet. You're going to have to, like, cover for me. And he's like, okay. Damn it, Hal, you do this all the time. Yeah. If it's not your binge drinking, it's your alien cavorting. (laughs) I mean, literally, he's like, if you weren't green and a holographic, I wouldn't believe it. But you're right here. And I'm not a jackass. So I'm like, I'm going to buy it. So, okay. Like, that has to be a reason why you're not here. Right. Uh, Hal couldn't make it. Uh, He's drunk. Fair enough. I believe that. (laughs) Okay. I, I did it. I covered cover for you. <laughs> yeah, Damn. he's drunk and he's out driving again. <laughs> <laughs> he may be dead for all we know. Uh, Carol almost sees Hal's hard like construct and then. But then she doesn't. But then she doesn't. Uh, <laughs> Tom, oh. So Tom Thank like. Thank God, that would ruin the image of the Green Lantern that I she know. fell in love with. So Tom Ray's like, uh, did that help? And he's like, I guess. And he's like, one day you'll be able to make calls yourself. That's why you, you need to train. <laughs> yeah. One, oh boy. Yeah. So then. Tell me more. He just leaves Hal in one of the rooms, and Hal's like, "This is really bizarre." And then Kilowog yeah. shows up. He's like, "All right, Poozer, let's do this." Poozer is a thing that Kilowog calls people. Sometimes it's a term of endearment. Other times it's an insult. I believe it's like calling someone like a jackass, you know. But like, you know, fun. Yeah. But sometimes <laughs> it's sometimes it doesn't mean that way. Yeah. You know. All right. It's like, how are you gonna end this? But you know, like, yeah. Fun. Like, nice. <laughs> like as a term of endearment. Like a fun jackass. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like, jackass. All right, jackass. Bitch, all right, bitches, let's go. You know, that kind <laughs> yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. All I right, gotcha. poosers. So, uh, it's like a hoser. Sometimes yeah. you say it endearingly. Right. I've never said that. But like, Kilowog and Hal go like training and they have a good time. You know, like, I'm going to throw rocks at you. Hold this egg and use your concentration, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. They train for like a week or two. Oh. Hal's exhausted. He wakes up, there's like a huge alarm going on. Apparently, oh, it was breached by Legion. Oh, he finally got there. Legion finally got there. He kicked the crap out of some Green Lanterns, and he's like, let's do this. I'm cool. Look at my abs. They look like marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, they, they all do. do at that point. So they all, like, dogpile Legion. Yeah. Legion's like, just tearing them up. Well, they can't do anything. He's yellow. That's right. But, like, and Hal's the one who realizes, like, well, wait, we could do stuff at him, right? So, like, Hal creates, like, shovels and throws bedrock at Legion. Yeah, yeah. And so they encase him in bedrock, and then... Oh, he, just like they encased uh, his, his whole planet. His whole planet, yeah. I mean, why not? And then just leave like, it someplace. And he just someplace. freaks out inside, and be like, no! <laughs> yeah. We're a claustrophobic race! You caused us to war amongst ourselves when that happened! <laughs> yeah. You're basically torturing us constantly. <laughs> 
So yeah, we got him. We got him. Yeah, yeah, high five, everybody. Giant hands. No, you're horrible people. You need to pay for what Woo! you've done. I'm just trying to get justice. Green Lantern car. <laughs> so, of course, <laughs> Legion is there to get justice against the Guardians. Yeah, and his right. fight with the Green Lanterns leads them to, like, sleeping chambers that the Guardians are in. He's like, what? ah, finally. Is that a thing? It's, it is now. Ah. So... The Guardians are in their sleeping chambers and Legion's gonna like attack them, but then like wires blast out of their sleeping chambers and attack Legion. Ah. I guess it's some kind of like defense mechanism or whatever, but they look like just regular like component wires that are integral to their sleeping systems, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. Because immediately right. after he is ensnared by these wires, the Guardians wake up and they get out of their system and they're like, oh, look at that. Like, that's crazy. Oh, you made it out. Yeah, whoops. Yeah. So the Green Lanterns are there and they're like, oh, crap. And they're like, we, he's going to get out of these wires and we can't even punch him with our Green Lantern rings. And I was like, I got it. Since these wires clearly don't do anything, and he cuts the wires, wraps up Legion, pulls them outside. No, you just cut off the life supply wires I mean, for all the other guardians that are on the sublevel. The other lanterns are like, why did you do that? You don't know what those wires do. And it's like, those wires clearly attack ne'er-do-wells. Like, what's yeah. the other point? Are these wires, they don't plug in anything because the ends of them are over here. Anyway, so Hal like swings them around, throws them in mud, and then covers. <laughs> ah, you're all muddy now. Now you're all brown. Ah. Oh, oh. Now you're not yellow anymore. Wait, I can punch you. you threw paint on him? Yeah, it's only the color. It's just the color. Yeah, on but it's the still outside. yellow underneath. Yeah, but it's true yellow. Nope, now it's brown. Now I can punch you with my Green ring, which he does. Sweet. And he just like, and that flattens should not him. work. <laughs> yeah, he does all kinds of things. He creates like a like a steamroller. He gets like a boot. And wow, he just get, this is multiple panels of... <laughs> of Lantern just making fun constructs, just beating just the beating tar this out of him. Guy. Well, because he also killed his friend. Oh, that's so true. It was for Andy, and the, the 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 ring is like, hey, whoa, 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 you're not allowed to kill anybody. He's like, screw that. And he gets what? Like, he makes Lame. A, he makes a jackhammer. He's like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> and he's like, oh, why? Stop. <laughs> and then he's like, all right, I'm not gonna kill him. Like, you don't, you know, yeah. I'm a good guy. All right. All right. Except you're not. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, no, he is, though. That's what no. we're finding out. We weren't sure about him, but right. now we know. So, you know, what's it called? So Legion is like, Le Legion explains that the Guardians heard him and they, yeah. you know. Of course. You know, and he's like, yeah, well, that doesn't, that doesn't exchange, that doesn't forgive what you've done to my friend. Yeah, you killed other people, though. Yeah. So he blasts him into unconsciousness. Nice. And then he's like, well, let's see what's in that armor. And he cracks the armor open. And then this giant, horrible, gelatinous blob monster blasts out of it and starts getting bigger by the second. And it's digging its tendrils into the planet. And they're like, you fool, what have you done? And he's like, what? <laughs> How would I, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. If he's that powerful as a blob monster, why did he why wear, do you wear the, the armor? armor? I can't travel into space without my armor. He needs the armor to like, you know, move around and do stuff. I don't know. It looks like the 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 inside of the armor is like the the you know the final phase of his plan once he got to Oa. He needs oh. the armor to like move around and you know manipulate objects and stuff. So he's just digging into the into the planet, he's blasting everything up and uh now and, you see my true form. Yes. And by this the way, is so weird. The the true form of Legion is basically that like all of the ch chickies yeah over time became one horrible gelatinous org. The, Legion is every one of the chicks. So chicks. they are Legion. Yes. Ew. Or he is Legion. He or is Legion. whatever, yeah. yeah. Like every, all of them are this one thing. They are Legion. They yes. are, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So Hal's like- They have kind of like a hive mind thing going on? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So Hal's like, we're screwed. This is scary. Oh, Everything about oh, this is oh, really hard. Yeah, but it's not yellow. <laughs> no, but yeah. I am. <laughs> because this thing is frightening the I shit out of me. I am gonna leave. Yeah, and they're like they're like picking him up, and like his mo every every tendril they like push or cut more, dig into the ground, and yeah. it's like siphoning out the energy of Oa. Yeah. And and Al's like, where the hell are the guardians during all of this? Yes. And in the, true the, guardian fashion, they hang out on the balcony, going like, looks like we're screwed. Guess we should bail. <laughs> wow. Well, it's over. We've lost. Yeah. Well, Oa is over. Yep. Right, we'll just go someplace else. And it's like, to isn't go this ruin important? some other place. I'll call it with new our infinite Oa. wisdom. <laughs> In fact, you know what? No, we'll just rip this page out of the book. This yeah. new planet has always been Oa. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's in true Guardian fashion. Yeah. But they're like, that's it. That's all we can do. So like, they they project themselves to the Green Lantern Corps. They're like, bail. <laughs> 
I think bail. Yeah. Bail? Bail. Bail? And Hal's like, fuck you. No. <laughs> you, do you bail every time something goes bad? Yeah, and this is like the this sixth is the first time. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then the architect shows up and he's like, ergo, vis a vis. <laughs> This has been the seventh time O has been destroyed by Legion. <laughs> and yet, none of the Green Lanterns ever remember it. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, they kill all the Green Lanterns every time. And then right. they start fresh with new creatures. Exactly. Yeah, That's the why the rings always, can fly and really. find their own people, because, like, they have to do it They a have lot. to. So then, the average uh, lifespan of a Green Lantern is about three years. Right. Like, give or take. Give or take. That's why House runs the best of them, because he's, like, five. <laughs> Whoa, five? You must truly be the greatest Green <laughs> Oh my god, you've been around for that long? You've been around through two new Oa cycles? Holy it's time that's to retire, old man. Yeah. Bring in some young blood. So Let's get that John Stewart over here. Yeah, or Guy Gardner. Anyway, so... Uh, so, so, so Hal's like, we could figure this out, we could do this. And the Guardian's like, new guy. <laughs> get a load of the new guy. <laughs> You, you get Thanks a, you can save all of you, you have a taste of power and you think you're freaking omniscient and omnipotent. Like, the, we're the guardians. We're okay? the guardians. Okay? We know when to okay. bail. It's over, okay? All right. I said so. I'm right. a guardian. You know what? If you think you're so powerful, then maybe one of these days you could tap into the actual power, which is the central power battery. That's where the true, real power. And if you're so powerful, Hal Jordan, the one just do that. And he's like, okay. 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 Why don't you do that? Why? So then what? Hal like, Jordan goes what? like, I am afraid. And his internal long is cool because he's like, I'm afraid. Like, I'm scared. I'm scared shitless. This is horrifying. Yeah. This is like Lovecraftian beast destroying <laughs> a planet I, don't even, I didn't even know existed until like two weeks ago. Yeah. I, and, and now the Guardian's like daring me to jump into a freaking power battery that cowers all of these super powerful beings. Just like my dream. Just like his dream. Oh. So he dives into the power battery. And I guess it's kind of like the first appearance of Parallax because that's what Hal Jordan does in Emerald Twilight. He jumps in the power battery, gets all the power, and he becomes Parallax. Right. right? But like, so well, he, Parallax is like in there, right? Yeah. He's yeah, imprisoned he's in the battery. They didn't know that when they wrote this. But. Nah. <laughs> but, re but retconning it up, I guess this is where Parallax started to get hold of him. Well, mm. this was when it's just like, hey, a Green Lantern came inside. That guy. Yeah. That guy. After that guy. Yeah. yeah. So uh, he does a Care Bear stare on the uh, Lovecraftian <laughs> monster and uh, then creates like a whirlwind that pulls it out of the ground. It like snaps its tendrils out of the ground. They're like, oh, it's freed. And then uh, Hal just kind of like whirlwinds it up into space where the other Green Lanterns are waiting and then they capture it now that it's not grabbing anything. Right. And in the, it's, it's in the cold vacuum of space. They can like contain it and then they take it to its old planet of Chick Chick. Uh -huh. And then drop it on it, and the guardian's like, "I guess we'll have to seal it better next time." Oops. Or not? Sorry. Nope, they do. So. Yep. They'll, they'll, no, they'll never stop. Yeah. So the that, will never stop. We and, gotta, and, we gotta trap it. Yeah. Oh, so the guardians are like, "We'll just trap it better next time." Push it in the sun. Yeah. Right. They should. But like, ah. so the guardians uh, meet up with Hal Jordan, who like kind of passed out from his experience, and they're like, "Hey, wake up, Jordan. What's up, yo?" And he's like, oh, "Jesus, what?" What do, you, what do you want? And oh like, God, you're all hideous. And they're like, they're like, what happened? How did how, like he he goes, how did how did that happen? What what happened? And they're like, you tell me. No one's ever been able to do that. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. Oh, and they're like, do, do what you said. You said about the power battery. Yeah, yeah. Said tap into it, so I tapped into it. Well, they said it. They, you you like made fun of me about it, but like I you know I thought it was a good idea. And they're like, well, seems like you're a pretty damn good Green Lantern. I guess you can keep the ring. And you know, two eight one four hasn't got any guardians right now, so I guess you can go over there and take care of it. Plus, I don't want to deal with Earth anyway, so. Why don't you just go? And then all the other Green Lanterns show back up after they dropped off Legion. And they're like, hey, whoa, that was awesome. Tell us how you did that. Tell, tell me how you did it. And he's like, oh. I, I don't know. I don't remember. But he enjoys being, uh, being you know, yeah. the center of attention. Lauded yeah. by his fans and friends. And so then he's like, okay, that was amazing. And he flies home and he's like, time to go to jail. And so he gives himself back up. And then an undetermined amount of time later, he gets out and he's picked up by his brother and his brother's girlfriend. And they're like, good for you, Hal. Like you served your time and you've made it. And his brother pulled some strings and got him another job at Ferris Air. Oh, And what? he's like, what? how? Yeah. Because like he, because Hal Jordan willingly cleaned up and submitted himself to you know go to jail like, yeah and mr ferris was totally a reasonable like, i mean you know the guy. reality is we know this guy doesn't want to get up or do yeah. anything he's, he's not even all, aware yeah he's, he's like what know. i don't make higher oh, decisions oh, oh, i was looking at the at the slips the other day and i saw jordan's name on it again <laughs> didn't i fire him no that's his brother oh okay oh so we get to see hal and now he's finally doing test flights 
you know, he was actually flying. Oh, he wasn't so flying So he became before? a pilot. No, yeah, he became a pilot. Oh, he was in, like, training. Mm-hmm. But he never actually got never to fly. Never actually got to fly. Oh. Now he is. And now that he knows, like, intricately how to fly himself, he's just like, oh, I can manage a plane. I mean, he's he already learned how to <laughs> ring, fly. Ring, do it for me. <laughs> no, he, he's <laughs> flying this thing, and it's like, there's some technical malfunction. He's having a, he's having a oh. problem. And they're like, you got to eject. You got to abort. Just, it's cool. It's not your fault. You didn't break the plane. The plane yeah. was broken. Eject. And he's like, come on. Okay, ring. Well, I guess you're going to have to help me. And then he's like, no. You know what? Screw this. He blasts the top of the plane off throws the ring out the window and he's like I'm bringing this in and then Hal proceeds to bring the plane down it does a couple of bounces off the ground and they're like woo then it explodes and they're like well Hal Jordan's dead damn and then he walks away from the crash how he survives is beyond me but he does and it's supposed to be like impressive and then he accidentally finds the ring on the ground next to him and he's like huh I guess it wouldn't matter where I was like you'd always find me and he picks the ring back up and he goes out there what? That is a very strange ending. It's just That's it's weird. showing that Hal has been able to overcome great fear. Well, right. and that and he's not just going to rely on the ring. Yeah, he, it's not all about the ring. Yeah, like the, the, but, but then and the plane explodes. It's like, whoa, 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 hang on a second. There's a lot happening. I here know, in like a the, short period the of time. plane is having a malfunction, and it's like, okay, I could bail, and, and no one will blame me. But no, I'm gonna like throw the ring out the friggin' window, ooh, and I'm ooh, gonna like okay. bring it in myself. I mean, you could hold on to the ring just no. like in case, and just I not need use to it. know no. it's not the ring; okay. it's me. Oh, well, you could die. So then he brings the plane down. Okay, <laughs> okay cool. Got That's it. A he triumph. saved the plane. Then the plane explodes. Oh, what? <laughs> Okay, but, uh, but then he walks out of yeah. the explosion And then he somehow. walks out like Wait, Top Gun what? And, what? and he finds the ring by accident. And then the next ring's to him. right there? Yep. And then he's like, okay, I guess I'll hold on to it. Yeah. That's in the span of like four pages. All yes. that happens. Yeah. That's the biggest growth that Hal Jordan has the entire book. Yeah. Whoo. Okay. That's, that's where the rubber meets the road. He can always yeah. like, promise he's, he'll change. Right. All he wants to. But, but this like, is the proof. This is the proof. The, the proof's, proof's in, in the, the pudding. pudding. That's right. The pudding that is. Or the Legion. Green Lantern Elmwood. <laughs> he was the pudding, yeah. Yeah. He's a pudding monster of any kind, yeah. But anyway, Green Lantern Elmwood Dawn is like, what do you think of this as an origin story? I think it's pretty contemporary. As an origin story, like, it's not bad. I wouldn't chuck it's it. It's fine. You know, like, yeah. if you were going to do it again, if you were like, oh, we got to reboot his origins. I mean, like, when New 52 happens, John's like, no. So, like, that's the origin. But uh, I dig it. Yeah. I think it works. It's I just, would say maybe get rid of the part where, like, I don't know. He he's drunk driving and cripples no, his friends. You need that. I mean, like it's it's hey. it's a rough lesson. Yeah. Like it's rough. Green Lantern Emerald Dawn, uh, the origin post crisis, and I guess New Fifty Two because they I don't guess they don't create they don't a new one. Create a new one. Oh. I guess I would have preferred something alluding to the Emerald Dawn. What? Like some kind of physical Emerald Dawn, like happening. Like he jumps in the giant power battery, and like the light from the power battery, like reflects spreads off the sun. over Oa. We're just like, oh shit, I've been tapped. Right. So like, that's the Emerald Dawn for them. Doesn't uh, happen. Yeah, no. We get the Dawn in the first page. Yeah. There's no Emerald Twilight either. It's, you know, just the name <laughs> of a book. Yeah, yeah it's just a symbolic name. Yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah, the Dawn is the Dawn of his origin. The Dawn of... Um, I understand you want like to see a physical version of that. But yeah, but... Uh, I'm just know, saying I would have liked it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. All right, I got you there. Isn't there an Emerald Twilight? I thought there was. Yeah, they did. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, but there is no physical Emerald Twilight. Oh, in that book. It's not like, yeah, oh, the sun's going down, did. it's green, too. Yeah, like, they no, never they, did that. Yeah, no. It's not a thing. Yes, but this came first. Yes. It's not like, you, well, they didn't do it in Emerald Twilight. They'd be like, yeah, Saying of course they never they did. I'd say, why would, you, why would you want to see that in this book? You didn't see that in any other book. Yeah. Because he jumps into the freaking power battery. So? Uh, so he could see anything, I guess, if he's in the power battery. Well, he could see anything, but like, anything if that's the case, if he taps into it, like, show something. He comes out and he just glows more. awesome. Well, this is right there. That's Actually, that's, that is kind of yeah. Yeah, yeah, the see? light from the from the power battery kind of like becomes Looks the sun. Looks like a sun, like a green sun. And it like bathes over, washes yeah, over, over the, the Okay, so it does happen. Monster. Yeah, there you go. There, so there's, there's my Emerald Dawn. There's your Emerald All Dawn. right, so zero complaints from Ben <laughs> on Emerald Dawn. <laughs> yes, now I have no more issue with it. Yeah, yes, complete right. endorsement, 100% endorsement. <laughs> well, they gave me my Emerald Dawn, 100% endorsement. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they didn't, but it turns out they did. Ben. Would recommend. <laughs> I like the idea. <laughs> well, it would have been great had they given me the Emerald Dawn. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, wait, they did? Oh, wait, dot, they dot, did? Dot. Oh. oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess that's great. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's for the next uh, reprinting of this book. <laughs> you could use that one. That one's free. That one's free. <laughs> all, the, all of them are free. If you find free. anything from this free. that would Whatever go on the cover, use. you can use any of them. <laughs> so long. 